Welcome back guys. We just got a quad axle of sand dumped here this morning. We also got our lift here as well. And the game plan is to get some masonry work done on the silo. So it might not look like much, but essentially all the mortar in between the rocks is starting to fall out and disintegrate. So we got to go in there and repair all that. And how we're going to do that is essentially mix some white Portland with some brick set and lime and a little bit of buff to get the coloring just right. And of course our Portland sand in there as well. And essentially we just got to go in there and repair all the mortar. And we're going to start out just by working at the upper portion of the exterior and work our way down. And then eventually we'll get to the inside and this retaining wall as well. But we got a lot to do today, so let's just get at it and uh, see how much we can get done. on this upper part of the silo is a lot worse than we thought. It was hard to tell from down there, but there are actually some giant rocks missing. The mortar is actually missing about five, maybe even six inches in some areas deep. So it's gonna be a lot of work in here. Like this chunk right here, it might actually fall. It's all in. We got it. You got to take these off and if we're going to be mounted floors to it, we need something solid. Man, that was bad. It's pretty rough. Yeah. But that one had to go. That side's not too bad. No. It's not too bad now. I think it's just a little bit up there. Yeah, get those loose ones off there. Give us a nice solid wall and mount our floor to. She was built. C. Henning. Henning. Must have built it. we ended up doing real quick was knocking off that thin layer of mortar is like an inch thick but we wanted to get the really bad spots down first before we lay our concrete so we don't damage that but man some of those were really big they could have seriously hurt someone if it came down on them but we got it out i think we're ready to finally start mortaring great One pail of lime. I don't know what it is, they just call it lime. Okay, yeah, for the bucket of lime, half a bucket of Portland. I think this is some uh, brick mix or something. That's a coffee can of that, and a soda can of our pump. Probably. Quick! 
before we actually start mortaring, we got to rip down a lot of this loose stuff. So the mortar has something nice and solid to stick to. So we'll pull the, geez, we'll pull the, the real loose stuff off right away. Give it a good brushing, blow it off. So it's nice and clean. Luckily we already did the inside of the silo before we poured the concrete because we didn't want to damage the concrete too much. So there were some monsters in there, but yeah, we just keep pulling her off, cleaning her up. And then uh, we got the rocks here too to fill in the larger voids. So that's what those little guys are for. But yeah, we got a lot to do up here. It's a lot worse up close, so let's just get at it. We've been mortaring for quite a bit now. We found out the best way to actually get at these. We tried a couple different tools, but we just found out hands are the best. So really we've just been grabbing a mud full, handful, throwing it in there, kind of working it in with our fingers. Just because they're all over the place, so really a margin trowel, flat trowel, nothing really works too well. So really we're just throwing them in spreading them out and the deep ones were filling with rocks actually because they probably had rocks in them at one point and they fell out so a couple areas we're going to fill with rocks let's see if we can find one get some mud. On you? yeah <laughs> got some mud falling on me from <laughs> i'm not too worried about getting on the rocks because we'll actually have to probably acid wash this get it off the white stuff we get on the rocks virtually impossible not to get it on the rocks so we're not too worried about that right now we'll come back acid wash it kind of make it all blend in with the existing mortar as well Well, 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 Blake. It's about time you get off of school. You got hay to bail. Yeah, you got to go bail hay. Yes, they're waiting for you. What am I going to do? You're going to bail hay. You do what you do in football. You bring them water. Water boy. <laughs> Come on, Blake. Oh, 
We got a good portion of the exterior masonry work done, almost about halfway out here. So we're moving along. We weren't doing it 100% correct to begin with. We were just ramrodding it in there with our hands and just working it, which is fine. But the proper way to do it is using a margin trowel, packing it in there, letting it set up, come back and striking it. So we're getting the hang of it. We're learning a lot. The hands are hurting a bit from that lime additive that we've been putting in there. I guess it eats away at the skin, but we got to put that in there to get the color just right. And the good news is the color is matching up pretty good. You can tell here in some of the spots that are already setting up, but what we're actually going to end up doing is having to come back and acid wash this and that'll help clean up the rocks a little and then blend the old motor in with the new. So a lot to do with this. We're chugging along, but we got a lot of days of just masonry work alone. So what we're thinking is jump down to the mill shed, start milling up the lumber for the roof, ceilings, floors. And then by the time we have all that wood dried out in our kiln, we'll be done with the masonry work and uh, ready to start building uh, the roofs and floors and everything. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll see you next time at the mill shed.